Blastoise, I choose you. Man, that's corny as hell, but today we are making a Blastoise cocktail and I'm super excited to get into it, so let's get into it. Fun fact, Blastoise, Wartortle, and Squirtle are the best starters in Kanto. Debate me if you want, Charmander, he's cool completely overrated. I think in the last video I did say Bulbasaur was great, but I was lying. Sorry. Let's make this drink. So when I was thinking of ideas for this cocktail, I wanted to do something strong, but something simple because all the Kanto designs are actually pretty basic. Nothing too crazy. They just look like powerful, strong monsters, which is what Blastoise is. He's a giant death water turtle. So we're gonna do a very strong tropical citrus version of an AMF, which is famously strong. It's one of the strongest drinks you can order that's actually a cocktail and not just straight, you know, liquor in a glass. So instead of doing Sprite, we're gonna sub in some Coke in there. We're doing a couple more citrus and coconut flavors. So let's do it. So bringing in that citrus, we're gonna do a citrus vodka. I'm gonna do an ounce and a half of this. I don't usually free pour my drinks, but I feel like in the spirit of an AMF, that is one of the least classy drinks you could order. And I think pouring it from my jigger and making everything absolutely perfect would kind of defeat the purpose of the drink. So we'll do an ounce and a half of this an ounce and a half of coconut rum, and I'm actually using Crusan. If you're using a full strength one, like Bacardi or something like that, I would probably do an ounce and a half because this is so weak, but so good. I'm gonna do two and a half ounces, but normally you do just an ounce and a half. That's looking like a lot of liquor because it is a lot of liquor. Tequila, because you know, the AMF is that, you know, just wide assembly of ingredients. We are adding tequila next, silver, and an ounce and a half. So here's what I'm changing though. An AMF typically does have gin in there. I, honestly, I think gin's trash for the most part. I mean, you can make good cocktails with it, but I think craft bartenders have this addiction to talking about how good gin is. I love gin. Gin makes every good drink good, better, whatever. Gin's not that good. Gin kind of tastes like, I don't know, like your grandma's perfume. It, it's not that good. Incredibly overrated. So we're gonna leave it out. And next, you guys know me. I love blue carousel. This is in every drink I do. We're doing an ounce and a half of this delicious Delicious blue citrusness. I wonder if anyone was like actually counting my pores to see if uh, those were actually perfect because it might not be. It's been a while since I bartended. So this is where we're kind of sticking with that um, ocean theme for Blastoise, the water. We're going to do ocean blue lemonade. Normally an AMF would get sweet and sour mix. I think this ocean blue lemonade is a little bit classier, not a lot classier, but it's, st it's still a ton of sugar, but it's really good. So it's gonna be fine. Um, they actually do make a sugar-free version of this. So if you don't want diabetes, I highly recommend that. But at the end of the day, it's not gonna layer. And that's kind of what we want for Blastoise. So, you know, pick your poison. Do you want diabetes and a beautiful drink? Use regular full sugar lemonade. If you don't want that, you just wanna be healthy while drinking 14 ounces or however many ounces of liquor here, do the sugar-free version. But for me, I might as well add diabetes to liver failure. And we're gonna do about six ounces of this. Again, I'm not measuring because I don't feel like it. And so that is looking beautiful. So our final ingredient is gonna be Coke Zero. And we're using Coke Zero instead of just regular Coke because it's sugar-free. That means it's not dense at all. It's gonna float right on top of the drink and look absolutely beautiful and look like blessed toys shell. So let's just toss that on top. Although, in theory, you know, density is what makes it separate. A bunch of ice is also key to this. If you don't like your drinks with ice, one, just grow up. I, I don't know what that's about. Use ice in your drinks, keep them cooler for longer. Um, but two, it, it's just not gonna quite layer right if you don't use ice. It, just use ice, it's not that hard. We're gonna do about two, three, maybe four ounces of Coke, but nothing too excessive. And that right there, my friends, is beautiful. So as you can tell, I got like the 32 ounce glass here. It's not all liquor. We got plenty of ice, we got plenty of lemonade. Probably a third of this is liquor though. Now, the only problem I have with this cocktail is the fact that I cannot drink it this way. As beautiful as it is, you're just gonna taste straight up Coke, maybe get a little bit of the lemonade, but if you don't stir this, you're literally not gonna get any alcohol till you get right here. And so you'll have a good time for the first half and you will black out in the second half. So let's give this a stir before we try. And this is exactly why you could use a sugar-free lemonade because you're ending up stirring it anyway, but you know, we're gonna pretend it's not like that. You know, honestly, I don't feel like this color is totally unfitting for a Blast Toys drink. Actually, when I'm holding it in the light, it kind of looks like Venusaur, but uh, hey, cheers. I mean, for how much liquor is in here, it's really not bad. Um, you're mostly tasting the coconut, probably because I did do two and a half ounces because, you know, it was very weak. I love coconut, so I think that works perfectly. Next, strongest flavor is probably a good amount of citrus because we have both of the blue carousel, the citrus vodka, and lemonade in there. 
You do get a little bit of a bite from tequila, but we used Espolone, which is, you know, pretty easily hidden in all this. The Coke is what's most interesting, right? When you mix Coke with citrus, I almost get like gummy bear vibes. Um, it's super delicious, really easy to drink. And that's it, that's the Blastoise cocktail. It's not overly complicated. We have a ocean blue AMF essentially with a little bit of coconut and all that jazz. A super delicious cocktail nonetheless. And that is another starter Pokemon final evolution in the bag. We have just one left, which is gonna be Charizard. I know it's gonna be the best video cause one, I'm gonna light it on fire, but don't sleep on Blastoise. He absolutely deserved his spot and he is the best Pokemon in Kanto. No debate, you know, maybe after my little guy Dratini here, but uh. And if you need a non-alcoholic recipe, I'm gonna put a link in the description to Squirtle. It's gonna be on my YouTube channel as well in the shorts. But unless you wanna scroll all the way back to January, 2023, just click the link. I'll see you guys next time.